welcome back everyone this is Denry from Craft of Giving and in today's video I want to share with you how to make your very own resin heart charm. To make your very own UV resin heart you will need to find yourself some UV resin as well as a heart shaped mold like this one here. All my supplies that I'm using today I've received through my Sophie and Toffee subscription box which is a monthly subscription box called the Elves Box where they send out a bunch of different things for you to try and just a disclaimer I bought my subscription service through my own money this is not a sponsored video but I was really impressed with their service and the projects you can make with their things are absolutely incredible so that's why I'm making a little heart charm today using UV resin that I received through my Sophie and Toffee box and I started by adding some clear UV resin the thin type to the bottom of my mold and using a little toothpick just to spread that around evenly and now I'm going to start embedding my little charms that I've received in my box except for the little key charm that I have placed in the, the little mold first and just using a toothpick to make sure that all of my little trinkets are covered by the UV resin and then I'm going to go ahead and set each layer with my UV light being a UV resin, you do need UV light to set it, whether it's a UV torch, a UV lamp, or just using the good old sun. Each layer of UV resin will take a couple of minutes with a UV light or an hour in the sun if you don't have a UV light. You want to make sure that you cure every layer completely, otherwise it will just not work as well for you. I went ahead and used my toothpick again just to spread it out evenly making sure it fills all the nooks and crannies and that's when I went ahead and added some of my holographic glitter that I've already had in my craft supplies that I did not receive through my Sophie and Toffee box. I then went ahead and added some more trinkets such as these little gears that was with the, I forget which month it was, but it was an Alice in Wonderland themed um, Sophie and Toffee box and I just added a clear little heart gem in there just to bring one of those gears up a little bit just to give it a little bit more depth so it's not all just flat and that it's, that it's sitting up a little bit there. Next I added some more glitters but this time it's a little star shaped glitter and using a toothpick I just manipulated those glitters into position where I wanted them and then I went ahead and set that layer as well. For the third layer I added more UV resin making sure that all the gears are covered completely there's no air bubbles or gaps or anything like that again using my toothpick just to manipulate the resin around making sure it fills all the nooks and crannies being sure to set that layer as well. I then went ahead and added a thin layer of UV resin just so that my glitter has something to stick to but this was quite funny because the static in the silicone mold attracted my glitter and so it landed everywhere but where I wanted it so I just used my finger to place the glitter into position rather than trying to sprinkle it because it all just gravitated towards the edges rather than falling into the resin and again setting that layer with the UV light. I then added some more UV resin. This layer I'm actually going to add some color to. Now you can pre-mix your colors in a separate little container and then spoon it in. But I wanted to be a bit adventurous and just do it on top and not waste some plastic cups or plastic. I just wanted to marble it a little bit without mixing the colors fully. And so I did this by just using a toothpick to marble it around, making sure I don't go over the edges to create a rugged edge either being nice and gentle and taking my time but I sped up the footage obviously. I set that layer and then because the dye is not a UV um, substance it just colors the UV resin the dye did not set completely on top so I added another thin layer over the top which sealed in the dye. I set the UV light underneath the mold as well for a good 10 minutes as well as on the top just to make sure that each layer has been cured completely Using a small amount of UV resin to act like a glue, I attach this gold finding so that we can attach it to a chain, which ultimately turns it into a charm. I set that layer and then finally concluded our little project by adding some more UV resin on the backside of my charm, smoothing out the edges, being careful not to spill it over the edges. To be extra careful, I used a baby wipe just to wipe around the edges to ensure there's no overflow and then set my charm for the final time under the UV light. Now I tried to add quite a bit of symbolism into this charm and I would be very interested to know what kind of symbolism 
you take away from this charm. If you want to, please leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this charm. I went ahead and added a chain to this little charm to add it onto a little bag of mine and I've been carrying it around every day with me and I've been getting so many compliments. People are absolutely amazing. And speaking of amazing, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. Our little community here on Craft of Giving has reached over 19,000 crafty little givers and that is just amazing. I'm so excited to have you on this journey with me. If you want to, please subscribe to my channel. I upload videos on handmade gifts and other fun DIY projects. Remember to be crafty with your giving and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!